Hi guys, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we are doing a makeover on Kylo and Yusuf. Um, this is going to be a fairly short video and it might seem like it's going by pretty slow. This makeover didn't take me all too long to do on the boys. Um, they never really do. It's normally quite quick and easy, but I figured this would be the best way to do it instead of putting it into a leprosy part because I know that some people aren't interested in seeing the makeovers. So I'm like, okay, I'll just do them in a separate video. And so that's what we're doing. But uh, yeah, so you guys are getting to see a little bit of a look of Kylo here. Um, I believe, if I'm correct, this video is going up before Leprosy Part 17. So this will be like my second time giving you guys a little bit of a spoiler on how some Sims are going to look. So I don't know. Um, I've done that probably twice now within the past two weeks. Because I started off with Genevieve. And then now we have Kylo and Yusuf. So you guys are getting a little bit of a spoiler. But uh, it's not all too big of a deal. I don't think at least. Because it is just some simple little makeovers. Um, I'm actually really excited to see what Kylo is going to look like when he gets older. Because he looks like just a little cutie right now. And I just, I don't know. I feel like. He's kind of got the Callahan genetics happening, but I could very well be proven wrong. He does have his dad's skin tone and hair color, so we don't have the Callahan thing there. Although Delaney was like a more tanned skin tone, but I'm pretty sure this is Yusuf's skin tone that we have going on. But, uh... Normally my toddler makeovers don't take me too long. For some reason, this one took me a lot longer. Normally I just throw something on and call it a day. But I kind of had like this, like a, I guess I'd call it an aesthetic that I was going for with Kylo. I felt like he'd be very like chilled and relaxed and kind of messy. But like kind of bohemian in a way. And I didn't know how to get that to come across. So... Some of the outfits I don't end up changing. Like, I thought his formal wear there was fine. It didn't bother me any. And then sleepwear, I think, I yeah. I just ended up giving him a onesie. It matched the socks that he already had on. So I just went with that one. Although I did plan to give him the blue one. And uh, that was it for him. And then we moved over here to Yusuf. Who, this is him here. Um, he is a sim from Egypt. Um, he is also Kylo's dad, so I figured it was about time that we kind of give him a little bit of a makeover because he's not old like Francois, because if you guys have been around for a while, you guys would know that Genevieve's dad, Francois, is like a little old man. So, you know, I figured we may as well give Yusuf a little bit of a makeover, and you guys will see in the part coming up on Friday, you'll get to see Yusuf coming over for Kylo's birthday and like a whole bunch of other stuff and it'll be really cool. Um, so I wanted to kind of keep his style very similar to what he had already. Um, I felt like he was dressed very formal, like business casual, I guess. So I kind of tried to stick with that kind of theme. Um, but I think I kind of ended up going a bit more businessy. Um, so I don't remember what his traits are, but I do remember while I'm doing this that his lifetime wish is to be a heartbreaker, and that doesn't go with the storyline that I have planned out for him, so you guys will have to let me know either on this video or on Friday's video if I should change his lifetime wish, but you, it might be better to do that on Friday's video so you guys can see what happened. Um, so I just gave him like a bit of a colorful suit. I figured the colors looked good on his skin tone, and then I don't think I changed his pajamas. I'm pretty sure I was fine with what he had. And then I don't remember his athletic and his swimwear, if I'm completely honest. But I did start off with outfits for him, which is very different for me. Um, I think I did that actually with Genevieve as well. I don't normally start off with outfits. 
but I have been lately. Um, not for like my toddler sims, but for any other sim, I've been doing the outfits first and then kind of basing everything else off of that. Um, I decided to apparently give Yusuf some track pants here, which is actually kind of cool because I don't think I've ever used them if I'm completely honest with you guys. So that's a little bit different. Um, and then his swimwear, I never understood why he was wearing those pants. So I just gave him the yellow ones because those ones are my favorite. And then we went ahead and jumped into hair and I changed up some stuff up here as well. I can't remember if I changed his facial hair or not though. Um, I guess I'll have to take a look at that. I'm guessing I did. Because it looks like I jumped right into facial hair right away. So, we'll have to kind of wait and see what I came up with because I don't remember. Oh, that's right. I ended up using one of my custom ones. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I ended up going with this one because I felt like it went with his face, like facial features pretty good. Um, I did give him a custom skin tone, but I think I had done that a while back. It's like the same like skin tone, but like in a custom skin. It's the something orchids non-default. I'll have to figure that out. Um, I really liked how the half like up eyebrow looked on him, but I felt like it wasn't very practical. So I ended up going with this one. And then for his hairstyle, I kind of liked how it was messy, but I didn't feel like it suited his style that like I gave him now. So, I think I ended up going with the long, flowy-haired one. Um, I liked this one at first, and then I realized how narrow his head was. That it looked kind of weird. All the ones like back like this look really weird whenever the Sims have narrow heads. I think I went with this one. Pretty sure. Um, we'll see if I come back to it, I guess. But I'm pretty sure that was the one that I went with. Because I felt like it looked the best and was kind of more his style. And, uh, oh, did I go... No, I think pretty sure I wanted that flowy, like, silver one. And then I d think I went ahead and messed around with a few little um, makeup things just to kind of add a little bit of definition into his face. I can't remember if I did eyelashes, but I know I added, like, blush and highlighter and a nose mask and stuff like that. Just very small details just to kind of bring him a little bit more to life. I did struggle with his nose mask a little bit because he's got like a, I don't know, there's something about his skin tone that it's like kind of hard to match it perfectly. So I just ended up toning down the opacity on it, but I felt like I did all right. I felt like maybe it was a little bit too dark at first, but then when I brought it down, it seemed to work out okay. So I guess that's really the main thing. And I don't remember what else I put on him other than like lip corners and stuff like that just adding some definition because he looks a little bit flat um i do actually really enjoy using makeup on my male sims i don't know what it is but there's something enjoyable enjoyable about that to me but uh yeah i think i'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you can go ahead and hit the like button down below if you want to see some more videos from me you can go ahead and subscribe i post videos every monday wednesday and friday Sometimes Saturday. I haven't uploaded on Saturdays in over a month though, so that's kind of my doing. Um, if you're already subscribed, you can go ahead and hit that bell down below to get notifications for whenever I upload. And I think that's about it. Uh, just as a reminder, subscribing is free. It does not cost any money or anything like that. Because I have seen some people saying that they thought that it cost money. It doesn't. It's free. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So I will see you guys all in my very next video. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Okay, bye guys.